boys and girls. This is Mrs. Conway coming to you today with a read aloud. Our read aloud today focuses on our building wide traits of happiness and success. So the book I'm going to read today is called Have You Filled a Bucket Today? A Guide to Daily Happiness for Kids. And this book is by Carol McLeod and it's illustrated by David Messing. So this book is all about how to fill other people's buckets and as you go through the story you'll be able to see just what that means by filling somebody's bucket. All, right. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an indivisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That is being a bucket filler. So boys and girls, real quick, so being a bucket filler, meaning doing really nice and kind things to other people, showing other people love, showing other people appreciation, giving people compliments, things like that, those all help make other people feel happy and then in return it's going to make you feel happier as well and that's going to help improve your self-concept like we talked about the last couple weeks. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you're filling a bucket. So I want you to think about a time when somebody's made you feel special and how that made you feel inside. It probably made you feel a little bit happier, a little bit more uplifted. So we want to do those things for other people too. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That is being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make other people feel bad. So think about a time when somebody's been mean to you. How did that make them feel? That was kind of dipping from their bucket because it was taking away their good feelings. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into somebody else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help other people feel good. So that's that self-concept. So doing things that make makes you a better person, makes you feel better to make other people feel better. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. 
He has a bucket, too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money, and it doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. The end. So boys and girls, as we're working on the traits of happiness and success the next couple weeks, and remember we also are always working on that self-concept, think about ways that you can fill other people's buckets. And remember that this is something that you can do every single day. So every single day, think about what you can do to make the other people around you happy, whether it just be helping them out with something, whether it just be saying hi, whether it be um, being extra kind to them, inviting them to play. A lot of different ways that you can fill buckets. Um, very easily throughout the day and also remember that when we fill other people's buckets and we make them feel better about themselves that also makes us feel better inside as well so I hope you enjoyed the story have you filled a bucket today and I hope that um, you're able to think about this over the next couple weeks as we're working on happiness and success have a great day